Hello, Genovia is back with another one. Tutorial Unity. This time we are going to animate our frog from the last video. So I got our toggle button over here and there's a frog. To animate an object, if you don't already have the animation tab, go down here to these three little dots. Go down to add tab and then click on animation. I've already got it in here, but that's how you put the animation tab into your project. Okay, so you've got the frog selected, the parent. Make sure the parent is selected. Click on your animation tab. And let's see, we're gonna make this frog float up in the air. So, we're going to click on create. And what that's going to do is open up your folder where your project is saved. And uh, recommend like making an animations folder, but we're just going to use the default folder and call it uh, frog float. All right. And what that's going to do is it's going to create an animator controller. Very important. This is what you need for objects in VRChat. To be animated. Okay, so we're ready to create our first animation. What you'll do is go over here to the red record button. Hit record. Now before you start animating, it is always good to keep uh, get a note of your X, Y, and Z coordinates. Because those are the coordinates you want your animation to go back to at the end of your loop. So what I usually do is I write down the coordinates, um, and then you know for sure. So we're going to, let's see, we're going to take our frog and we're going to go to, let's say, 1 minute and 30 seconds. Alright, so at, not 1 minute, 30, 1 second, or 1 and a half seconds is what it is actually. Um, so what you're going to do is you want to move your frog to where you think you want the frog to be at that position. All right, and let's go ahead and we'll move him up a little bit too. All right, now let's say at eh, 210, we'll go ahead and rotate him some more. Okay, we got a frog there. Now let's go ahead and go ahead and move him a little bit, a little bit up more. Then we'll make him float. Let's go back. Let's go all the way to four. So let's move him way up here and maybe spin him around a little bit. Put his head up. Uh, and let's. Make him flop around a little bit more. Go up to here. Bring him down. Uh, bring him down some more. And bring him down some more. We're just making a quick animation. Nothing fancy. Nope, oh, don't want him going through the floor. Alright. Okay, then we'll take it out to 10 and we'll put our original coordinates in that I wrote down. Zero, four, and all right, let's play back the animation. Go ahead and rewind it to the beginning. This is what it'll look like. And remind you, this is pretty simple animation. Nothing fancy. There he goes. He's floating around. Whee! And it just repeats itself. All right, so once you have a good animation, you like it, hit the record button again. Now it's saved. 
go back to our project so we got our animation done we got our animator in here the frog which is that is our animation that we just made so everything is working great and we'll go ahead and play it in our editor and we've got it set so it starts on awake he's floating up in the air all right good enough all right so we've got our animation good and if you click on that you can see how this takes place this is our animation double click on that and this is kind of, it kind of resembles udon behavior this is the entry and this is the animation so if you click on that and we named it frog float you'll see that it correlates the animation that we made with the controller gotta have the controller animator controller and that's it guys that's how you do animation a quick simple animation so that's animating the frog see you on the next video guys take care